thought I'd do a little video doing some testing on the interface board. Got Vanagon gauge clusters. I've got two early models and two late models here hooked up for testing. I'm checking the new interface board. So right now we're at 188 degrees and the needle is just starting to creep above the LED. What I'm finding out is all four gauge clusters are reading different than each other. So we have an adjustable pot on here where I can control where that needle will sit. On the conversions that don't put a VW temp sender into the Subaru coolant manifold, they talk about adding a resistor. Well, our board has an adjustable resistor so you can fine tune because it seems like each gauge cluster that the temp sender reads a little different. Also, see the tack working. This gauge cluster hasn't been modified. Um, the interface board itself modifies the tack signal so you don't need to take the gauge cluster apart and see the reading on the OBD2 versus the gauge cluster itself. Also, you notice we got the speed sensor. It's reading 27 miles per hour. There's a microprocessor in the interface board with a program that uh, turns the RPM into a speed sensor, and it's a good enough signal to make the ECM and cruise control happy so you're not putting a, an axle-mounted proximity sensor that wasn't made to be outside and has a high failure rate or even the ones in the back of the speedometer seem to have a high failure rate. So this is doing the board on the testing on the board here. I'll throw a screwdriver and adjust and I'll show you how I can move the needle. slowly go all the way up or I can back it down 